So in, in, the, in the orphan disease space in particular, working together with the community, the community of, of concentrated physicians and the community of patient advocates is critically in, important. And by working with the patient community and the physicians, we're able to define endpoints that work with the regulators in getting drugs approved. As you can imagine, natural history on orphan diseases are not well understood. So designing later stage or registration programs can be challenging. It really takes the whole community to come together to define these endpoints and work together with the regulators for important drugs to be developed. Well, we're heavily involved in all the advocacy groups uh, working on, on TTR and amyloidosis in general. And in fact, we've been to certain countries like Mexico where the physicians brought the patients together really for the first time and advocacy groups started getting fo formed on the spot. Now something that's critically important is if people have a genetic disease and there's no potential treatment, there's no great emphasis for education for diagnosis because there's nothing you can do if you're diagnosed. Once you have hope on the horizon, a potential treatment on the horizon, there's tremendous incentive for groups to come together to improve diagnosis and then to speed time from patients to getting a potential treatment. So it's very important for a biopharmaceutical company to work with these patient groups, enhancing, enhancing diagnosis and then making sure that access barriers are knocked down that allow patients to get important medications.